after playtime, it's time for motor room. Motor room. Motor room. Good. Like. Every day we do the schedule. We do the green choices at circle time, and we say hi to friends. Atlee, come find your name. <gasps> Dylan. Dylan, go say hi. Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Well, before our circle times were probably like 10 to 15 minutes and now I can hold their attention for sometimes even up to a half an hour. So, I mean, they're definitely, it's, they get to come up and do things and then they also get to hear things on the smart board and see pictures on the smart board. How many snowmen? One, two. two. Okay, get two fingers up. Two little snowmen. We use our smart boards with a variety of kids, anywhere from two years old through five years old. We have kids on the autism spectrum, kids with developmental delays, speech only kids. So we see a large variety of kids benefiting from this technology. Little crocodile looked around and saw a blue monkey hanging from a branch. He said, are you my mommy? even like having that story up on the smart board which was huge compared to me holding a teeny story and having to you know show the pictures to all the kids I think that was even helpful. Before I was never able to use like a computer game with a group of kids and with a smart board now we can do computer games when I have a group of four kids we can sit in front of the smart board and we can do a game that's centered around a specific sound or a specific skill. One. They love it. One of the skills that we work with a lot of our kids on is requesting a turn. And it seems like this year that kids are picking it up much quicker. They want a turn to go up and interact with the smart board. My turn. Good, Lucas, come on up. Touch the dice. Oftentimes I add visuals from the smart board. I'll go online and find a really great website that I can use. Um, sometimes I'll use videos. It's just changed pretty much everything about the way I teach. One. <gasps> Pop two. Pop three. Yay, Shay. It was easy to pick up on. You know, our district's um, training for the smart board, the beginner class, and the classes that they had set up, you know, they're very appropriate. After going to just one class, like I was able to go home and like practice the skills I learned and I use it the next day. And so I thought it was very simple. The motivation definitely Ready? increased One, on students two, and some students three. seem to pick up on skills a lot more quickly because they are so motivated. Does anybody else want to turn? Yay, my turn. Okay, come on up, Atlee. A lot of our kids are gonna be moving into classrooms that have smart awesome. boards in them that are typical environments or typical classrooms and if our kids can come in there with already exposure to a smart board, already seeing it and using it, you know, that's just going to make them one step ahead and help them be successful in an environment that would have been more difficult for them hadn't they had that exposure early on. I mean, these are two and three year olds and they were sitting, what was it, a half hour? I mean, sitting and really interacting and really having fun with it. The smart board is an amazing technology tool that's made the way we teach more effective and made learning more engaging for our students.